Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am Ms. Roxana's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1 Episode 4 uh, called Livewire. And before we start, I just want to say um, I did the first three episodes on my old webcam from March. And it's like, I don't know, it's going to be late July when this comes out. Or early August. <laughs> uh, so I apologize. Um... I'm doing like a ton of videos right now. I'm banking a lot, so look out, cause my chance might go cray cray. So basically, um, so the first three videos are going to be on my webcam stuff, and this one's going to be also on my cell phone until I can get like a better actual camera. So bear with me, but yeah, work is slow, so I'm doing what I can. <laughs> So, anyway, this is, like I said, Season 1, Episode 4 of Supergirl called Livewire. So, we start off with some alien trying to escape the D.O. And then we have Supergirl um, stops him. And then Alice is freaking out about her mother. And and then we have, like, her mom is proud of Kara, but not really of Alex. <laughs> I can't remember if it's Thanksgiving or not. When is it? I don't remember. Anyway. Then we have a radio DJ is uh, basically make, like pissing people off and about, about Supergirl. But basically her job, like, she's, like, basically, she's got her, she bears her teeth a lot and will, like, bite somebody. Pretty much, like, with that mentality of, like, the media, it's, like, she's very, like, I don't know, venomous, I guess. And so, we have Kara invites Wynn for Thanksgiving, yep, like I said. So, um, Kat then is busting out Leslie, who is the DJ that we're talking about. And basically, she is now doing traffic reports now because um, she does not want to back down from making fun of Supergirl, who is also Kat's grants, basically, like, you know, pet project. Philly, that's how they set it. <laughs> and um, basically, um, she's under contract, so she delegates her to traffic reports, like I said. So then we cut to where Carr invites James um, to also Thanksgiving, but he has other plans. Then Carr and Alex talk, and then we have basically Lightning hits Catco helicopter. So Supergirl saves them, but Lightning hits Supergirl and Leslie through, like, osmosis, basically. Like, it hits Supergirl, and Supergirl was had uh, Leslie, and it, like, transferred over to her, so, like, it was a big whole thing. So now Leslie's in the hospital under a, com of, under a coma, then Kat visits her, and she feels a little bit guilty, and she tells her, like, damn it, Leslie, wake up! And then, um, she, Kat leaves, but then she is awake, but her eyes change to, like, a different color. And, yeah. And then Alex's mom is pissed at her and blames her. <laughs> like I said, like, she doesn't let that on early on, but when they're alone, Alex starts pouring that drink, and she starts taking a bunch of it. And because she just knows it's coming and it came and she's like, why did you let her do this? And blah, blah, blah. And she doesn't seem to understand like, Kara's her own person. She does whatever she wants because she's Supergirl. So. And then we have a flashback where Dammer's family time, which was actually pretty cute, but also not that much because Kara's basically being... <laughs> the bad person <laughs> like basically like the not the bad person but like the troublemaker to the point where like they're good flying off uh, <laughs> around at night and they kind of get busted for that <laughs> and uh then we have the present day where leslie um has electric powers now and then a creeper basically hits on her and says so she electrocutes him and she is starting to like, oh, I can do this. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. And then we have Alex getting drunk at dinner. And then they share what they're grateful for. And then James calls in and lets her know about that, uh, about Leslie. Then Alex comes clean. And her mom is mad because, like, 
she works for Medea and she didn't tell her mom and the mom's like mm. and then Alice is mad at her and then we have a flashback where they got busted and then Henshaw is at the door and then Kat's electricity is out of the building and so uh, we have Livewire did it and she gets after Kat so basically like she came in through the speaker or the monitors, which was actually like the special effects were pretty good. And then we have uh, Supergirl interferes, then have live wire versus Supergirl. And then Kara and Tat and Kat talk and both give it basically like a little bit of backstory and stuff. And then Kat wants to talk to Supergirl, so Alex and her mom talk as well. And um, basically, they have it out, and they resolve it, everything, and they hug it out. The Supergirl and Cat talk about getting Livewire, so she lures her out, and then uh, Supergirl versus Livewire. Plan doesn't work, but then Supergirl hears water, and then electrocutes her, and then we have Gwen's dad is in prison, so he's thankful for Kara back at Thanksgiving dinner. So he's grateful for Kara, and then, and, let's see, and kisses her on the cheek. Then Kat decides to run uh, a fluff piece. Then Kat kind of wants to get to know Kara, and then we have Alice's mom leaves. Then Danvers' dad basically uh, says that, the mom says that the dad used to work for the D.O. in order to stop them from taking Kara um, under Henshaw. And that's the end of the episode. Sorry, it's been a long time since I watched this. <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched that for season. Anyway, um, it was pretty good. From what I remember, I can give this an A+. Plus. It was really good. And, like, you get to hear more backstories about everybody. So, that was pretty cool to um, learn about that and everything. So, yeah. just And that's the end of this video because I'm super tired. So, anyway, just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And sorry about this video. <laughs> Sorry, buddy.